Welcome back, guys and gals, to Dunkirk. Christmas has come and Christmas has gone, and we are back playing in the ninth tier in England. So let's take a look at where we were last time, um, which was almost forgot. Uh, yeah, we played Salford in the FA Cup first round, got smashed as we should. There are a League One team, so five tiers above us. But we <clears throat> bounced back with a... Well, we didn't bounce back. We drew uh, Nirvana, Leicester Nirvana, 1-1. And that was the first of uh, seven undefeated games for us. So we come back today for Boston Town away against... Yeah, yeah uh, away in the United Counties League Challenge Trophy third round. You can make a song out of that. That is, there there are some long league names down here in, in the um, dark uh, depths of the English pyramid. Um, we actually played them just a week ago. We beat them 2 0 also away. So I hope we can repeat that. But first of all, let's just take a look at where we are. Um, I haven't been in this save for a week now. I had some um, I had some game, games pre recorded, but. Yes, we have a new guy in. We have Jed Abbey. Say, say hello to our new right wing back. Um, actually, pretty solid and versatile player on the right side. Um, he has the physicals I want. Decent first, first touch and passing. So I'm looking for this guy to be a playmaker here. And the reason why we needed some uh, more people on the right side is we have changed tactics again. Um, yeah, so 4-4-2. Four, four, uh, um, three, two, 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 one, and we have a slightly more defensive one as well. So I'm still experimenting with tactics here, and on my on my private save, uh, I'm actually using some kind of um, yeah, a variant of the, of this formation, which is more like this actually, uh, which is working great for lower league football to be to be fair. But this has been working great for us, so. We're gonna keep uh, doing uh, this bit. Um, we are having some issues with, we are missing some players for certain positions, but I think we're playing good. So let's keep on with this. So uh, let me see here, I'm just gonna change the view. There we go. Uh, yes. Um, so yeah, we are playing Boston Town today. We're also gonna do the Skegness Town uh, game. Just to get the league game in as well. So let's get right into it. Uh, this is this is not a cup. I yeah, I don't care about what it, but it's cup. To be honest, there's so many cups here. We are we are out of the FA yeah the FA Cup, and we are out of the FA Vas as well. If I can remember, yeah. So we are uh, we're, we're out of the two big cups for us. Um, so what what is left for us is the trophy cup which I really don't need to win, to be fair. Um, so let's see where we're at then. Um, so this is the team we're playing today. Harry Sloman up top. Um, we are changing up Harry Sloman with Levi Moore. Um, they're kind of rotating the striker position because both of them are scoring, to be fair. So yeah, we're having a 100% a, a, a great problem here. So yeah, I'm quite satisfied with that. Norfolk, mm, he's been playing really well, but uh, he has some, he has done some very awful errors. So I mean, yeah, we're, we're, we're doing some changes there between Norfolk and, and Taylor. As you can see, our squad is a bit large at the moment, so we might have to yeah, think about how we play uh, for the remaining remainder of the season and next season, because we don't need this many players for such a lower league team. But enough of that, let's just get into the cup game again against Boston Town. Five, uh, sorry, 2 0 was the result of the last game. Let's beat them again, as my assistant suggested we tell the team. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen the last uh, episode, we changed the skin now. This is the, um, uh, this is the Work the Space skin, actually, and I think it's really good, mainly because of this screen in, in, the, in the match here. Uh, which have, uh, yeah, well, it this bit, well, it have has uh, pains for every um, every information screen, so it gets 
way less cluttered uh, th this way. So I'm kind of always on the overview here, but I tend to get into the air on the grounds a bit, uh, analysis, uh, because uh, in between um, episodes, I'm actually playing on on extended highlights, so uh, I'm uh, watching more of the game. But we're doing key highlights on the episodes, just to get um, just to compress the episodes a bit. Oh, keepers out on a walk, a stroll. Good hoof out to Sloman. Oh, saved by Chambers. Ah, it's an offside. Okay. So, um, we are currently... Actually, where are we? Uh, where's the league table? Uh, oh, this is a cup, cup game. Let's look at the league table in the next game, then. So, I think progression in this cup is okay. I am really not interested in winning this cup. Uh, or, uh, I mean, showing this cup on screen. Uh... Unless we get into like the semi-finals or the final, uh, yeah, because it's such a, it's it's such a small cup and yeah, it's league we care about. If we could get back-to-back -back promotions, I would be very satisfied because that will take us up into tier eight of um, English football. We're having some good chances here, and this is what I want out of this tactic to actually have the wing backs be our uh, wingers. They will run up and down so they need a lot of stamina and speed uh, and also they will cross the ball a lot so seeing that we have kind of uh, three strikers now uh, as the um, attacking midfielders are actually inside forward so they will stroll into the center like strikers so we will have kind of three people getting onto the crosses so uh, like that just like that so now you can see Stefan <laughs> Stefan Ristich <laughs> Also acting like kind of a kind of a semi winger, he is pretty deep in into the channel, but uh, he picks up the ball, gets it back to Sloman, straight into the goal. Exactly what how I want them to play. Um, so we're not playing particularly counter attacking, but uh, we are creating some counter attacking chances at least. And uh, yeah, so let's see if we can keep this up. One nil to Dunkirk. Ooh, that's a great pass for uh, Limb there. And it's 1-1, Boston Town, Dunkirk. Let's go uh, balanced for a bit now. Just to slow down the tempo. So I hope everyone has had a great Christmas. Um, we celebrated uh, at our home uh, this year, so we had a lot of family coming to our house, or to our apartment, rather. Um, Roman? Oh, almost. Yeah, and uh, we, we, we had a really good time, a really good celebration. So I just came back from my uh, home time as well, just to visit some more family and friends. It's just uh, great to have some time off and um, fucking, yeah, just, uh, yeah, just um, talk, talking to family and stuff like that. So I hope everyone is having, uh, having or has had a great Christmas, at least. So, and it's uh, actually uh, uh, unboxing day today, so there's a lot of football on. Might just watch a game later. But let's see how we fare in this game for that. We are uh, piling on the pressure here. Uh, sorry, uh, they are piling on the pressure. We are having some good opportunities. Tate with the ball. Oh, what a turn. Straight to the keeper, though. We are currently leading in uh, shots and XG and the possession and everything, so kind of dominating. So I'm not uh, too um, I'm not too afraid of a defeat here. Let's just go attacking for a bit because I think we can do that with safety. Yeah, so uh, and then another uh, great thing about this tactic is that we are really good uh, to catch. Uh, we're really good at catching this, the uh, second ball, uh, which is a big thing for us. Um, so, even though uh, Harry Sloman is playing as an uh, as a as a poacher, I think his 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 uh, role is, he kind of works like a target forward as well, as 
in he is picking up the ball and actually laying it off to his uh, two other um, strike partners on each side. Let's uh, demand some more air. Oh, great pass by Glatzl. Oh, what a goal. What a goal. Great one-touch pass by, by uh, Kane Glatzl there. That is a magnificent goal, especially for a lower league team. Uh, there's been a few episodes now, but uh, we did a stream for the summer transfer window, and I really enjoyed doing Football Manager on stream, actually. I haven't done that before, so that was really nice. Um, so we will absolutely do that again uh, later on uh, for the next summer transfer window. I might want to do a football manager stream anyway with a uh, yeah with so, so something completely different as well, uh, a different save maybe something like that. But um, I'm really enjoying my football manager now. Ooh, that's a good chance. Okay, so we're two one up. Let's see if we can keep this result. Long ball out to, uh, from Corn. Ball back at Boston's feet. That's a great pass by Noble out to Ristich. Here, here comes the cross, maybe. Uh, back to Abbey. Ooh, nice ball control there. So, oh, <laughs> well, it, it's a good effort, Armstrong. It's a good effort, but you are the left back. You shouldn't shoot at, at uh, 30 meters out. Ooh, that's a dangerous uh, play, but it, yeah, it's avoided for now. Oh, that's, oh, that's so easy. That's so easy. And it's Limbe for his second goal of the evening. Yeah, we needed to do some changes there. Also, is dead tired, but we can't change him out. Uh, Bada is on for Armstrong and Levi Moore. I know, actually, actually, uh, Coburn, you're on for Ristich there. Yeah. Okay, so we've uh, been uh, in the lead two times now, uh, and I've e equalized both goals. So let's see if we can get a third. Uh, as I said, uh, again, I'm not too bothered about this cup. So <laughs> actually, if we are defeated today, we can focus totally on the league. So I'm going to use the cup for rotating the squad and stuff like that. But as I mentioned, if, if we get into the latter stages of the cup, we might go for a a uh, cup win because, yeah, silverware is always cool. Picked up by Eckley Oldsworth. Am I, am I playing on uh, extended still? I am. Let's just go key highlights then. I thought this game was just uh, dragging on a bit. Good haul up a slowman. Oh, <laughs> It's a good effort, but it's uh, over the bar, unfortunately. Okay, so 70, 80 minutes in. So let's just go positive and shout encourage. Uh, well, some mixed reactions to that. Anyway, we are dominating this uh, game. Uh, so we are quite lucky not to win it. Oh, they're, they're, they're totally going to score now. Oh, this is such an FM uh, situation. FMing, that is. Ah, uh, come on. <laughs> you could just tell that that was going in. Oh, and it's a horrible goal as well. Uh, Corn actually gets a hand to it, I guess. Yeah, and just... Oh, he just hands it into his post. That is a bad way to get go out of the cup, um, even though I'm not too bothered about it. I'm, I'm, I'm far from pleased with that result. I'm far from pleased. Even though we were slightly underdogs, I, I guess. But uh, yeah. Anyway. Uh, but that is the essence of uh, lower league football in Football Manager. And I just really enjoy this. Whew. Oh well. So we're out of all the cups then. Great stuff. Uh, then we can focus on the league, which is... We still have... Yeah, let's see. We still have uh, 16 games left, so let's get back for the game against Skegness Town. And we're back! We are now focusing completely on the league because we are out of all the cups. FA Cup, FA Vaz and the Silly Trophy Cup. So, 
we are three points ahead of Sherwood Colliery and that is good because in this division it's very hard to get promoted because you either need to win the league automatic promotion or you get into the second place which is which is the playoff between all the division on this tiers so I really don't want that uh, playoff spot I really want to just win the league and get up and we are, have a good chance I think we have a good chance so let's see how we do that so today is a Away game against um, Skegnestown. Skegness. Skegnestown? Yeah, let's go for that. Um, they're 13th in the league, mid table, so let's put in a good effort there. So I am thinking about reverting from this, but let's just do one more game, which is uh, because we are creating many chances. We did, just didn't um, put them in, in goal last, uh, last time out. Let's put Chris Taylor in, uh, Whitfield in for Carboner, and actually we're gonna do Atten out on the right for this game. Uh, Restitch is off. Uh, we are trying to offload a few people now in the January transfer window, even um, either on loan or just after selling them. Um, Ooh, we're gonna talk quickly about transfers after the game, I think. But uh, for now, let's just get into the game here. So, I want uh, all three points from this game. Yeah, we've been on a good run, that is correct. Let's see how we do then. Let's encourage the boys. Uh, we are playing in red shirts today. I didn't actually uh, see that before, but, but uh, um, on the uh, on the uh, on, on the stat screen here, the captain's armband is actually in uh, rainbow colors. That is a nice little feature. Uh, I didn't uh, notice that before. So see, th th uh, this is how all our games has been uh, for the last two two months. Uh, we are actually out shooting everybody uh, but we aren't having too many shots on target so we are a bit wasteful that tells me that our that most of our shots are actually long shots uh, which often go outside of the goal or, or over the bar or something so let's just keep an eye on that um, yeah we've been doing really great with this team uh, both last season and this season but I, I'm really not comfortable with one tactic yet one it would be nice to just have one tactic that is really solid, that I really trust, that is flexible. Um, and even though this is producing some good results, oh, I think we're scraping a few of those. So, uh, yeah. We have to see what we, we can do um, in, in terms of transfers and in terms of uh, ad uh, even adjusting this tactic or creating a new one again so let's just see how we fare so for transfers in uh, the general transfer window we don't really have a transfer window here in uh, tier 9 of English football but oh, that's some poor defending from Tate very poor uh, we, we're gonna fire him up a bit yeah so in terms of transfers uh, I even though we don't have a transfer window here I really like to not buy or sell plays all season long because that just um, uh, hampers the uh, chemistry between the players. So I really like to do most of my business in the summer and adjust here and there and then do uh, some additional ones in January. Let's just do the half time here. So yeah, you've been terrible. I can <laughs> adjourn to that. Let's go attacking for a bit and let's actually let's just having let's just do at and off and uh, Ooh, we don't have a right winger on the bench here. Nobelov, Whitfield on. Boom. Yeah, so we, I might search for a third first choice central defender because um, they're lagging behind a bit and they're quite slow, most of our defenders, which is unfortunate if, uh, for a new tactic we're playing, uh, which is a bit pressing. And I'm going to offload a bunch of uh, defenders as well because we have too many now for uh, yeah, for uh, any tactic we're going to use. So um, oh, this is a bad game. It's a boring game as well. One shot on target. What are we doing? Um, 
I'm actually gonna... No, I think this is okay. It's not, it's not much we can do here, to be fair. Um, yeah, so a central defender first choice and offlo and offloading, offloading a bit of a few bad ones. Um, also, we might want to offload some attackers. Come on, Slowman. Ah, oh, and it's a great goal by Slowman for his 21st goal of the season. It's 1 1, Skegness Town and Dunkirk. Might also look at the midfield situation here because three, uh, uh, three of our four midfielders, uh, central midfielders, that is, are actually playmaker types. So we don't have any defensive play, um, midfielders, you could say. So might want to adjust the balance a bit there. And uh, when it comes to Taylor and Norfolk, I'm not too satisfied with their performances. Oh, that's a boring 1-1 one, one away against Skegness Town. Um, yeah, I'm a bit disappointed there. A bit disappointed. Seeing as this is a Christmas episode, I would have uh, loved a few uh, uh, three-pointers there. But yeah, what can you do? Yeah, so we will be doing uh, the transfer window off camera. And uh, when we get to get back for the next episode, probably in February or March, I will, I'll show them to you. But let's see where that puts us. Um, <clears throat> well, I just saw actually, but uh, four or five points from 22 games. That is not too bad. Not too bad. Um, we don't have one goal scorer this year, but that is because we just use one striker and we are kind of rotating. Uh, but we are three points ahead of Selston uh, and Sherwood Colliery. Uh, after that, there's uh, uh, three points down to Corn, one more to Melton, and then it kind of drops off. So I think we're in the top uh, three group, you could say. Quite satisfied with that, uh, a bit after halfway through the season. Um, so with 15, no, 16 games left to go, uh, I'm quite satisfied with what, where we are at the moment. And uh, the squad as well, we can do some improvements now. So as I was talking about, um, one more first choice defender wouldn't be too bad. Um, then offloading uh, the likes of, yeah, maybe... Yeah, Bradley is a good uh, prospect, so we might just offer him out on loan, for example. Yeah, some adjustments there. Norfolk, I'm trying to uh, actually... Uh, Get, get rid of, of Norfolk. He has been playing good lately, but uh, he's been, made some mistakes, so his numbers are quite de deceiving. And we need more defensive-minded um, uh, players, actually. So, so let, let's see where that puts us. We might just uh, send Opajinka back as well, because we have too many attackers. So yeah, there might be some adjustments there, but um, we'll see in the next episode. But, it, but it's great to be back. Um, it's mid-Christmas for me. Uh, I hope everyone is having a fantastic uh, time. Uh, if you're on holiday, if you're still working, if you're back with your family. So I hope everyone is having a fantastic end to the year. And uh, yeah, Merry Christmas and uh, Happy New Year when that time comes. So if you enjoyed this video and uh, my content, please subscribe or like the video. Uh, and follow me on Twitch as well, which is coming back. I'm going to start streaming again on... Uh, in the new year. I've had a bit of a pause uh, for two weeks or so, uh, seeing as Christmas is uh, very uh, occupied for my part. Uh, but uh, if you enjoy my content, um, follow me on Twitter as well. Everything. Follow me on everything. But uh, yeah, th thank you for being here and I hope you have a fantastic new year and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.